Olivia. Welcome back to Liv's Kitchen. My Mimi and Grandpa, they live in Italy now, and they gave me this hat and apron to make myself look more official. Because they sent it from Italy, it was only right for us to do macarons for our next recipe. We went to a macaroon shop. It is called Hummingbird Macaroons. They had a great macaroon ice cream sandwich. It was very, very sweet, and I like it. If you're in Norfolk and you're going downtown, you have to try it. It's amazing. So today, since we went to the macaroon shop, we decided to make lemon macaroons because we love lemon flavor so refreshing and it's great especially because it's spring and it's almost summer. This is my very first time making any kind of like macaroon or cookie by myself and so I decided that I wanted my mom to help me with it. And my mom has never made it either and so it's a new experience for both of us. For the macaroon shells it's one cup of almond flour, three-fourths of a cup of powdered sugar, two large egg whites, a fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, one fourth of a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of lemon zest, half of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of lemon juice, and yellow food coloring. In a medium bowl, sift your almond flour and powdered sugar twice, And then in a large mixing bowl, beat the egg whites on a medium speed until foamy. And add the cream of tartar and continue to beat. And then very slowly, be very careful, add sugar one tablespoon at a time. This part is very important because it can mess up the consistency of it. So. Make sure to increase the speed up to the medium high and beat until the hard peaks. It should look like this and then after that, you will add the lemon zest, and right here is when we totally forgot to add the vanilla extract, but make sure you actually put that in. And then you add the lemon juice, yellow food coloring, and then beat on medium speed for about one more minute. Make sure to not uh, skip this part because sifting the almond flour and the powdered sugar is very important because you don't want it to be very chunky when you put it in because then it'll be all lumpy when you get it out. And you want it to be very fine. And very, very carefully, clockwise, fold the mixture from the bottom and make sure you get the sides and the top too. Just like this. We may have over mixed it on this part, so we'll see how it turns out when it comes out of the oven. Then put the batter into a pastry bag and make sure it's a round tip that you use. If you don't have a pastry bag, just get a sandwich bag or a Ziploc bag and cut a hole in the bottom of it and squeeze it out.
The baking mat we got at a craft store was supposed to be for macaroons, but we realized that they were way too close together, and they should be about an inch apart, and these ones, they were only like two centimeters apart. After that, tap the baking sheets on a table. Make sure you can get all the air bubbles out, because you don't want them to be cracked when you get them out of the oven. Let them sit for about 15 to 30 minutes. So preheat the oven to 300 Fahrenheit while you're waiting and make sure that they are not sticking to your finger because you don't want them to be sticky. And then bake them for about 18 to 20 minutes. And then take them out, take off one macaroon and if the bottom doesn't stick to it then they're done and for my favorite part the lemon buttercream three tablespoons of unsalted butter softened a cup of powdered sugar two teaspoons of heavy cream a teaspoon of lemon juice one teaspoon of lemon zest half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. While you're waiting and you're making the lemon buttercream, beat the butter until it's pretty fluffy, and then after that, add the powdered sugar, heavy cream, lemon juice, lemon zest, vanilla extract, and salt, and beat until they're really mixed up. Then you can put the lemon buttercream into the macaroons and enjoy them. They're really good and there are a couple things that we wanted to change about our macaroons. They tasted very, very good. And next time we're going to use a different baking mat. So they weren't the prettiest things ever, but they tasted very, very good. And the next time we're going to use yellow gel food coloring, but this time we just use normal one and um, oh, it, really nice. <laughs> it makes the color a little bit more rich and it makes them look a lot better. Make sure that when you put it in, they should only be about like that because they're going to sit for 15 minutes and so they'll spread out. And a couple of them that we baked were touching and we don't want that to happen. The taste was there and the texture was great, but there are a couple things that we're gonna change next time. But hey, it's just cooking and you're gonna eat them anyway, so nobody's gonna see them. So there you go, you have some lemon macaroons and they are so good. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Liv's Kitchen. Bye. Banana. Put it. Bring like a dog.